So here's a lower body workout I use on a regular basis. So I'm gonna have you start about feet hip width apart. And as I squat down, the first thing that's gonna move is my rear end. I'm gonna actually go back. And then my knees are gonna track over that second toe and I'm gonna stick my arms right out in front. I'm just gonna hold this position right here, retracting the scapula. And as they come up, I'm just gonna fold my back right in half like doing a row. So I'm just doing a row. Really easy. Again, we talked about this earlier, but you can focus on my range of motion first, my speed second, and my resistance third. So that's how I'd like to teach it. Range of motion first. Again, fast or slow, and then resistance. Now, if you change the first two variables, it's amazing how the resistance changes. Now, from here, I'm just gonna move into a centering squat. This is a little bit easier on my knees and my inner thighs and my hips. So my thighs are now together, but my ankles are being really challenged. So again, if you have knee issues, you have hip issues, Start with a centering squat. So again, my inner thighs are nice and tight. And then from here, I just move out into a wider squat. Again, really good for my lower back. And as I squat down, I'm gonna add a little bit more to this. I'm gonna add the arms overhead. So now I'm gonna actually pull myself up. I'm gonna push down. This is really, really getting into my lower back. It's challenging my core. So a real simple, easy way to learn how to squat. Second exercise is called a step back. I'm gonna turn here, and all I'm gonna do right here is I'm gonna take my front foot, my right foot, I'm just gonna step back. So this is really beginning. You've had knee rehab or knee or hip replacement. And as you get more comfortable, I'm gonna actually go up. So now we're gonna actually work on a little bit of balance. And remember, balance equals strength. So I don't really care about adding a lot of resistance if I can't maintain that balance. So this is just called a step back, super easy, and you just obviously rotate. And you can see my opposite arm is coming up with my leg. All right, so now I'm gonna progress here. This could be higher, it could be lower. I could use a little tiny step. I'm using a bench here. And all I'm gonna do right now is put my left foot up here. And this is called a step up. So now we're adding a little balance here. Now if I want to add my arms overhead, I could add resistance with dumbbells. I could change my speed. Or I could slow it way down. So again, really good for the flexibility, balance, strength of your legs. The third one is called a lateral lunge. All I'm going to do is step out to the side, my inside leg is straight, my knee's tracking over the second toe, and I'm gonna come up and roll. So I step out. So now I'm working my inner thigh, my ankle, my quads. Now if I wanna add a dumbbell, I could have a dumbbell, I could press overhead. So really simple, easy exercises. And you can hear by my talking, my heart rate's up. Gosh, Chris, are you out of shape? What's going on here? Then from here, I like to do kind of sequence, so I might do those three in a row. And then I'm just gonna use this band here. I'm gonna work my hips. So this is just a side step. We have these right on our website. And all I'm gonna do is step out to the side a couple times. So now I'm working my ankles, my hips, my legs, heart rate's still up, working my core. The lower I go, the harder it gets. And then from here, this is called a monster walk. And just for the sake of doing this, I'm just gonna step out a couple of times and step back. Still working on my balance. And then from here, I might throw in a little hamstring work. So I'm gonna have my feet about hip width apart. My back's nice and flat. And now I'm just coming down, nice hang, and come up. 
So into flexion and into extension. If you want to challenge your balance, you could do this on one leg. Depends what I'm doing, how much time I have. And you can see these little sequences don't do not take a lot of time. Working my hamstrings, working my core. All right, from here, I'm gonna show you real simple. Again, if we wanna do the single leg, much more challenging. Again, you don't even have to do weights to start with. I'm just gonna come down and I'm gonna come up and row. Try these with no weight. You'll be surprised how it's really gonna work on your hamstrings, your glutes. And if you wanna add more resistance to this, same premise. So now you're actually coming up and doing a row. But really challenges your balance. Swiss ball is fantastic for working your core, but also working your legs. So what I like about this Swiss ball is it actually can get into this thing called a hamstring curl, okay? So I can just create extension with my hips, come up, work my hamstrings and my glutes, come down, or I can actually do this to a row here, Swiss ball curl. So nice curl work in the hamstrings. And you can actually go up and work your core at the same time. So this is my work in my inner thighs. I'm gonna grip this baby a little tighter. All right, one of the last things I wanna show you is just working your calves. And again, part of your strength in your ankles. And all I'm gonna do is come up. And if you wanna just hold, real simple. Just anything you do this on a stair, no falling. And then as you get more comfortable, Try to work on your balance. So again, remember strength and balance go together. So again, really works, again, as we age, the thing we lose the fastest is our flexibility, our mobility, our balance, followed by our strength.